hello guys welcome to my channel my name is Jamako today I want to show you how to come about this amazing flyer simple party flyer so I'll just take you on the basics on how to achieve this background and the text effect and without much let's get into it so I'll be using Photoshop for this tutorial so come to file and create a new page as control n or a new page so once you have your page so i'll be going with my file size the default size 1165 in width and 1653 in height and resolution 200 so i'll click i'll click create sorry so we have create a page so now i'll bring in my first background so i'll bring this in so i'll click and place it there just like that so now i want these lights to be more shiny so i have another light here to replace them so i'll scale this and then bring it and flip it just like that so once I do that I'll place it here you come at the edge like this once you see the arrow changes then you can flip and say ok so now I'll place a max to it here add a max then come to my tool brilliant tool and just drag like that yeah just to blend <coughs> excuse me just to blend in my background so, so i've done that i'll hold my alt key drag this so i'll have a duplicate and i'll click here a little bit and right click and flip horizontal so just to flip it that way so now i'll have my rectangle too and just drag a black shape to it so now I'll add a max, come to my gradient again and just drag and just fill just like that. So the next thing I'll be doing is to bring in my picture, picture of the celebrant. I'll drag it in just like that. So bring it just like that. So now I have it this way. So I'll bring it. These are called layers. So under my layer, you can see the hierarchy here, the black rectangle. Those are the odd, other objects on my page. So I'll drag this down below so that the black will be at the foreground. Then you can see the blend there because of the black. So what I'll do next. I'll use this image, I'll click on it, add a max so that I can use my brush tool to blend on the image like that. So my opacity, you check your opacity, I reduce it to then make sure black is at the foreground. So black is to take out while white is to bring back bring back what you have cleaned before so i'll make sure blacks are the foreground then i just drag just like that so i'm just gonna brush a little bit to reveal my light so do that like that just blend so you can see the image so sometimes we apply a filter to our image so we we'll go to camera raw and let's add some colors and sharpness to our image so if you go to camera raw let's wait for photoshop to open camera raw okay it's picking uh, 
the layer. So let me close this and bring, click on the picture layer. Go to camera raw, the filter. So wait for it. So once it's on, and increase the sharpness of the image. You can see. Then come to basic and add some contrast and see how it's changing. So you can add black, you can reduce the blacks, add the texture. So just play around with it. Anything you see that will give you a good output to go with. So I'll just increase and you can see. You can see our before and after. Before, after, you can see those textures there. And can add a little bit of uh, exposure. Yeah, you can see that light on the image. Then reduce. So, just play around with it and you can see the image changes. So the next thing I'll be doing is the right top. You can see we have achieved our background as easy as that. So I'll be typing my text. So come to your text tool, pick a color, so you type. So I'll just show you how to achieve the the gradient aspect of the text, but they so if you have your text, so let's reduce the text. So I have this birthday now and want to apply a gradient. So the, the text I use for that um, is a star struck, star struck, star struck text. So you can see it. Mm, yeah, you can see the text. So let's apply the gradient. So you come to your uh, gradient overlay. So once you see the gradient, you can see you have uh, the ash here. You add ash, then white. You drag the white to a specific position. So you just play around with it and find something. And you can see it's under reverse. So once in the angles and what the view, uh, we can add a color overlay. So I chose this color overlay, which is the yellow part, and change the, the blend mode. You can see if I change the blend mode to normal, you see how it's taking out that gradient. But I chose the linear bond. You can see it's giving us that dark part and the light part. So, you just duplicate this, open your Alt key, double click, and type. So, bash, bash is a slang for party. I think, I'll call it bash for party, bash. Yeah, bash. So, but they bash. So you can see, guys, amazing. So you type the remaining information, which I will not type all. So I just showed you how to achieve this background and the text. So guys, don't forget to follow, like, and comment. So let me just bring. Uh, the text in so I just see. 
So, bring this in. So, you can see, guys, amazing job. You type the name, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> type the name of the club, bring it in. Inside Macumba. So, and type the name and change the font. You can use the same fonts. Um, effect that the, the effect on the text. And change the font and type in something else. Well, I'm going to pick the same font uh, effect. So you can see guys, see the font effect. So you just type and change your information. So guys, you can see our job. So if you find this helpful, subscribe to my channel for more tips like this. My name is Jamako and we will talk more again. See you next time guys.